What's up guys and welcome to Web Education's Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip, we are learning how to transfer your WhatsApp chats and messages to a new phone or to a different phone. Now, the best way to do this is using the backup and restore feature inside WhatsApp. So, you basically backup your entire WhatsApp account that includes chats, videos, images, everything in your WhatsApp account, you back it up to the cloud transfer your account to a new phone, and then restore and download all that information from the cloud into WhatsApp on your new phone. So to do that, go to your old phone and launch WhatsApp. Uh, you can see my WhatsApp account has quite a few messages here. So the first thing I need to do is back this up. Now, all I need to do is go to the menu. Now, for this tutorial, I'm using an Android phone but you can do this on your iPhone as well. So go to settings, then go to charts, and then on the charts window, select chart backup. And as you can see, mine has never been backed up. So that's the first thing I need to do. Now, what I need to do is choose a Google account where I want to back up. So I'm going to come here and choose my Google account. I'm going to choose that one. And then of course I'm going to accept that uh, WhatsApp wants to access some parts of that Google account. So I'm going to allow that. And that's it. So now my Google account has been registered. And then you want to tap on the backup to Google Drive option and select daily backups. And right now you're basically telling WhatsApp to be backing up your account daily. But for this process to be as successful as possible, make sure you take the most recent backup. So tap on backup and let it back up your WhatsApp messages and charts right now. Now, this will take varying amounts of time depending on how much data and how many charts you have. And of course, if you also want to include the videos in your WhatsApp to be backed up, make sure you tap that before you tap on backup. So there you go. Luckily, mine takes a very short time because I don't have too much data in my WhatsApp account. And uh, now everything is backed up and you're now ready to transfer this to your new phone. Now, one thing you need to know is you cannot have two WhatsApp accounts using the same phone number, and you cannot use one account's backup to use on another different account. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna uninstall WhatsApp from this phone, and I'm not gonna check this option that says keep this data. I'm gonna leave it unchecked, so it deletes also the WhatsApp data saved on this phone. So I'm gonna confirm that, and uh, have WhatsApp uninstalled, as you can see. Now, I'm gonna pretend this is my new phone, and I'm gonna go to the Play Store and install WhatsApp. So we're now pretending this is my brand new phone, and I'm uh, getting WhatsApp for the first time. There you go, so there's WhatsApp. Currently installing WhatsApp on my new phone. Now with WhatsApp installed, tap open and then go ahead and agree and continue. Then put in your phone number and this has to be the same phone number you are using in the account you just backed up. You tap on next and then accept that this is a number. And then of course WhatsApp will want to verify that number so they're gonna send a text message. And if you're using the same phone, it's gonna automatically verify. And as you can see, it's currently looking for backups. And it's gonna tell me there's a backup available and it's 1.2 MB and it's in this Google account. And all I need to do now is tap on restore and allow WhatsApp to download my backup of my charts uh, from my Google Drive account. And there you go. So as soon as it's done, it's gonna give you this check mark. And all you need to do is tap on next. Of course, uh, give your account a name, tap on next and allow it to initialize and bring back all your messages and all your charts on your brand new phone. As you can see, all your messages are there and they're intact. Every link, every image you shared or every video that you shared, depending on whether you selected video during the backup process. Anyway, that's how to transfer your WhatsApp charts to a new phone. Thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris, and I'll talk to you guys soon.